Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, I will put hostility between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. If God is for us, who can be against us? For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. But I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. For the flesh has desires that are opposed to the Spirit, and the Spirit has desires that are opposed to the flesh. For these are in opposition to each other. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Be sober minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. He guards the paths of justice and preserves the way of his saints. You are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world our faith. For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart.